last fall, my son and his godfather were collecting the cards. We would buy them for my son as a reward. And I never collected them. I had no idea. He's the one. He's like the database of all of that stuff. I was taking Roman to Pokemon Club at Silver Sun Games in Montgomery. Really incredible shop. And uh, I bought my first pack of cards. I was like, well, we're here. I was like, let me just get one. And uh, in that first pack ever, I pulled, uh, it was over $200 at the time, a Lugia Alternate Art V from the Silver Tempest set. He's like, well, this is the hardest one to get. And in my mind, I was like, well, if I got the hardest one, I can get all of them. I had this abstract painting that I was working on and uh, I was so happy I got the card that I, I'm like, I'm gonna paint this dragon on this abstract painting because the color tones kind of fit with the artwork of the card. So I painted that first painting and looked at it and I was like, I think I should do some more of these. Creating Energy Forest started with realizing I was throwing away a lot of garbage from the Pokemon collecting process that had really cool art on it and looked really cool and the characters and a lot goes into even creating that packaging to get it to your front doorstep which everyone slowly rips the layers of all of the stuff off to get to the sacred card if it's in there and then otherwise it just gets discarded so I knew that the forest would have to have a tree so I started with one tree with a branch and how I was going to which color the cards come in several colors the energies so there's my paint palette you know and I had friends coming over looking at like what the heck are you doing I was like you can't look at the cards like cards you have to look at them like it's a, a wall paint color tile hardwood flooring trim you have to look at it as a material and every material costs a certain amount of square foot mine just costs a little bit more uh, so with organizing our extra cards by color, directionally, in order, all of the energies, everything in order and creating that process mentally. Building the fire around the main sculpture of the room, um, which is a dragon that resembles a character from Pokemon named Charizard. This became a, uh, a passion project during the project of sorts. This is Arceus. Um, uh, my rendition of this Pokemon character. I did a quick sketch painting of this character on the canvas and laid it on my bed and I started placing some energy cards around it and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. There's hundreds and hundreds of cards that went into the making of this piece. It's called Ring of Fire and they're all hand placed, hand glued with a little wooden block, a little baby wedge of blue tape, and only one row can be completed as, as a time because it needed to be dry in order to perfectly lay the next row tip to tip and corner to corner around the whole entire piece. Wood Join Company built me the custom frame. It's got 3 16 tempered glass, so it's safe. You know, it'll pass the Nerf gun test, you know, and it's become one of the main pieces in the show and took probably the most work to create. Our foundation is providing opportunity for fine artists and new artists, and then sharing art with the community of folks who don't have it in their life yet. And sometimes the greatest goals are the ones that stay the same as long as they work and they're helping. And we never strayed from our mission, and that's welcoming people in uh, to a safe space, creating an opportunity to get a little bit better than you were yesterday. And uh, same thing with this gallery. We want to create a space that will showcase the finest art from the finest artists, but also a space when someone walks through the door and they've never put a brush to a canvas before, they're just as welcome as the other artists are. I don't see us straying too much um, from that. Bringing more people into the community to view the art, I mean, every gallery I'm sure faces its marketing challenges, um, but really contributing with the rest of the folks in the city of Newburgh and the other galleries and the other artists to keep that community just as strong as our individual presence, to make sure that people know it's a place to come and view great art in many locations. And even with this Pokemon show, I was giving out a couple of promo cards to some folks that I thought could appreciate them. And uh, a young man I met, his name's uh, Brogan, I get on a work trip, hooked him up with a card. He said he was totally into it, so I gave him two pieces of my art. And then he went home, and I just got this in the mail uh, this weekend. And it's got this really cool, like, little Pokemon stickers on it and stuff like that. And uh, 
I was like, and I literally just looked at it for the first time here when I came with here with you guys. And it's so cool. So he painted a Charizard, colored in this Charizard thing. And like that, this is my paycheck. You know, what I really, really appreciate and look forward to. And like, if a kid was inspired to create through my art, then that's, you know, mission accomplished um, for me. So that's, that's always the goal going into the um, classes with the kids is, and it's really easy to get embarrassed and be like, oh, I suck. Like, I'm not good at this, I can't do it. Like, we really spend a lot of time talking down on ourselves and we can't do that and, and we have to break those bad habits, self habits. So for the kid to be like, I'm not good at art. Like, that's why I make them write first thing out of the gate, I am an artist. Like say it, like and write it, and then believe it, and keep going. And uh, so pushing, pushing our youth to be fearless while they create, and, and know that they're they're the next generation of artists. Um, that's my ultimate goal. So this was like a really special thing to get. And that's important too. Like sometimes when you're having doubts while you're creating, always go with your gut and keep going. And who cares if it fails? Like again, what's the worst thing that can happen? Who cares, a little embarrassment, a failed project. But if you don't push through and create, you'll never get to the gold, you know, of what it, what it can be. If you put those boundaries on yourself that it's not good and it's not gonna be great, of course it never will be, you know? And you have to push those limits to get somewhere where someone else is not willing to go and um, in, a, in positive places in order to really achieve what that next level is gonna be. And although this was made out of Pokemon garbage, and you know some some uh, rudimentary building materials and tens of thousands of staples. Um, it became something that I was so proud of because it was brought into this world with really given no hope. You know, because it was meant to be discarded. For me, you know, will stand out uh, as one of the great art installations and one of my most anticipated you know releases.